before we get into this video, NQ Stats does not provide strategy. It does not provide indicators and it does not provide investment or financial advice. What NQ Stats does do is provide statistical edge derived from historical market performance. Nothing shown in this video should be taken as advice of any kind. This video is providing a tool that could potentially be leveraged to make a trade decision. You as the trader are responsible for how you leverage and build around it, in addition to how you enter, exit, and manage any trade you decide to make. With that said, let's get into it. All right, how's it going? This is going to be a video specifically on the noon curve. Uh, so today is August 27th. It's the August 27th session. It's about 2.15 p.m. Eastern. Uh, and this is going to be, again, a video specific on the noon curve, just um, showing a, a, a showing a outcome that met everything, you know, pretty, pretty good, pretty perfectly. Uh, and then I'll show the executions of my trade on it. Uh, but just really trying to, uh, my, my goal is to take each one of the stats and provide a, uh, video highlighting, um, like when they worked out perfectly and just, you know, to provide some context of stuff that I, uh, use in terms of, you know, expectations, etc. Not necessarily getting into strategy specifics, but just overall market context and expectations and, and yada yada. But uh all right, let's just get into this video. Let's let's do that. So starting off at 8 a.m. You have your 8 a.m. open. That is this little horizontal red line here. Uh there was an ALN session uh ALN session pattern. It was pattern four today, so you were expecting London lows, right? That London low uh came down to it's on the other you know it's over here but there's your london low right there so we end up breaching the london low so there you go alien sessions validated um I did, I did take a trade there and it'll show once i show executions but uh, that's not the purpose of this video this video is on the noon curve so we come down we set a an low so at this at this point there is a am high and an am low right when we get into like 10 a.m., um, this low is set at negative 0.51% from the 8 a.m. open and at 9.50 or so uh, Eastern. So that puts it in the high probable smack dab in the middle of the high probable price window, right? Right there at that 0.5, that negative 0.5% move, uh, right where it should be from a price perspective and also from a time perspective. So that that 9 to 10 a.m. range uh, is, you know, falling in there, puts it in that time window. So this low is right where it should be uh, from a historical distribution perspective if we're going to set a new PM high. So AM low is in. <clears throat> now, as we start to move up, uh, here is your, your AM high, your quarter one high. And quarter two, the second 10 a.m. to 12 p.m a.m. or 12 p.m. 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. That breaks the quarter one high. So this is also mentioned on nqstats.com. You can go read about it there. Um, so now you have an in stat, you know, that the, this low is within the statistics showing of price and time. So it is an in stat event followed by a confluence of quarter two breaking the quarter one high, which leads you to make the bias of, okay, we're going for a new PM high, right? Um, so now I've circled the AM high once we get into the PM session. So PM session starts at 12 PM and runs until 4 PM over here. Now what, what I'm looking for is a price retrace. Um, not looking to go long uh, right here at the top, you know, or even this tiny little pullback. For me to get interested in long, I want to see a proper pullback. If I'm expecting price, and I've mentioned this many times in past videos, but if I'm expecting price to do, you know, um, and noon curve is a trend continuation stat, you would utilize it with a trend continuation strategy, whereas something like our stats is mean reversion, so it's counter trend. But noon curve, you know, it's trend continuation, so it's it's this is what you're looking for, trend continuation. So trend continuation mechanical, you just think from mechanical price movement, you're going to get those moves up and then, you know, like a 60 to 40% pull or 40 to 60% pullback, somewhere roughly half, pivot back up, you know, pull back, pivot back up, pull back, pivot back up. It's stair-stepping. 
you go and look at any you know long-term uptrend, uh, whether it's a you know through the AM session or on a daily chart or whatever, whatever, whatever you look at an hourly chart. If you look at price legs, you're going to see those mechanical stair-stepping movements where it's up, retrace, up, retrace, up, retrace, and then there will become a point where the retrace starts to then break the structure that was built on the way up, and now you start a downtrend, and so on and so forth. Uh, so anyways, this move comes back down into the 50, the 60 to 40% range. That is this box right here. So from the AM high to the AM low, that is the most recent leg up. Looking for a 50-ish percent pullback, plus or minus 10%, so somewhere in the 60 to 40% range. That is this green box. We get that, right? And then price starts to move up. Uh, price starts to move up, and it, and and depending on your entry criteria or where you got in or whatever, let's just say you got in somewhere here, right? Uh, where should you consider scaling? Well, if price is moving in a mechanical way, uh, where you're expecting, you know, something like this, now now looking at where price is right here, right? We've we've done, you know, we've gone up. We've pivoted back. We've gone up. We've pivoted back. Now, right here is where we are right here. If we're going to pivot up and run the highs, great. But if this is the start of a downtrend, then we would come up, we would pivot up for a continuation down. So where do you want to be at least scaling? Probably 50%, you know, 60 to 40% of this down leg. So this down leg right here from this AM high to this, you know, pivot, this this 50% pivot, you're now moving back up and it is logical to at least scale, you know, 50% of the way back up because if price is going to do a down a start of a downtrend, you're going to get that pivot and then continuation down. But uh, we are not looking for that. We are looking for a full pivot to a new high based off of the data. But just in case it's a pivot up or a continuation down, that is where you would ideally want to scale, you know, somewhere in uh, this general area, which puts you in that 40 to 60% range of the down leg. And hopefully that makes sense. So that's what this arrow is pointing to. All right now, you know, you would have got your scale out and then you're just running it up to the PM high. That PM high should be placed uh, according to the data yeah, the, the highest expectation would be around that 2 to 3 p.m. range, Eastern time. So this high was put in, this current high right up here, is put in at, you know, 2.18 p.m. So it's within the window of where you would expect the high to be put in for a p.m. high if the a.m. low is already in. Um, now, distribution-wise... It would be a one-ish percent move to the high, so I mean we're not even we're not even close to that right now. Or this 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 high that's in is 0.21 percent of an up move, whereas the peak of the distribution would be around a one percent move up. Uh, if you look at today's average range, or if you look at the 60-day average range compared to where we are right now, today's session has moved 53 percent relative to the 60 day um, average range, right? So what that means is if you look at where the day could still go, uh, I mean, it can still reach up all the way to about here, right? I draw a box where this could reach up to. This would be the top of that, that average range. So the day could still reach all the way up here and still be within the 60 day average of, of, daily range. Now, if it moved all the way up there from your 8 a.m. open, now you're in that 0.84, you know, you're getting into that 1.0 territory and it makes a lot more sense for the high to be there. So there's still a lot more potential range that could happen today to the upside. Um, however, you know, taking that low hanging fruit, getting that noon curve trade, scaling out halfway up, scaling out, you know, exiting all the way at the top, uh, that I mean that catches multiple R. It's a great trade. 
Um, and you don't, you don't have to keep holding. Maybe you want to leave a runner and see what happens. But I mean, personally, I just like taking the low hanging fruit exit. So I'm going to take that 50% scale at the halfway back up. And then I'm going to take that full exit once we get to the top. Um, and that, and that is that, that is this noon curve trade. So we are now at 2:24 PM starting to approach into that last quarter of the day. Price is still grinding up. It could still go much higher. Um, however, yeah, for as it pertains to noon curve, the the move is over. The PM new high has already happened. You could continue to hold based on the data, maybe a runner, to see if it goes higher. Um, if you're looking at the 60-day average, like I said earlier, 60-day average range is still potentially a lot more movement to upside that could occur. Uh, but if I turn on executions, here's the trades I took. So I grabbed an ALN session trade to the downside, and then grabbed a noon curve trade to the upside. So I draw an arrow right from that 50% mark from this top of this uh, down move to the bottom of the down move. And I scaled at 50% on the way back up just in case, as I was saying before, just in case it was going to do a, you know, up, down, up, and then continuation down. I don't want to get caught on the wrong side of that, this becoming a downtrend, right? So if it hit that 50% and started to go down, I don't want to get caught, you know, not scaling out. So I scale out at 50% there um, and then full exit up there at the top. Um, so hopefully this video was helpful. That that low, I mean, it was perfect. It put in right at the right time, right at the right price. Uh, you get the quarter two break of the quarter one high. Uh, you get the 50% short retracement, you know, and it just runs the high. So this was a perfect noon curve trade. Uh, if you have any questions, just let me know.